Okay. What's up, Oscar? What's up, man? Uh, fist bump. Uh. Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to play flute. Um, so we've already talked about how to breathe before and how to sit in your chair right. Um, and so we're just going to go ahead and start right at how to set up the flute. All right. So uh, the first parts we have here are um, – let me move this down a little bit. First parts we have here, we have the bottom joint. We have the body of the instrument, and then this is the head joint. Okay. okay, so once again, this is uh, the, the end, I'm sorry, Brr, end joint, this is the body, and this is the head joint. Okay. okay, so what's this one? That's the body. Right, this one? Uh, that's the head joint. Head joint, good, and then end what's this joint. one? That's end joint. Right, okay, and then if you notice, there's a little hole here in uh, the head joint, and that's called the tone hole. So that's tone. where your air is going to hit, and that's where the tone uh, gets produced with the flute. That's how it gets, like, this is where the air is going to go. Awesome. Okay, so whenever we set up our instrument, what we do is we always start from bottom to the top, okay? Oh, yeah. So what you got to do is you got to grab the bottom, the bottom joint very carefully with two hands, and you're going to hold it with the right. What you want to make sure is that when you are actually putting it together, you don't grab it where the rod is in your palm because it's really easy to dent and damage. Okay. So it's always okay to grab it by the keys because they're meant to bend. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to grab it here on the solid end, but never have the rod at, in the palm of your hand. That's that's really bad for the instrument. All right. Okay, so you're going to grab that. And then the next part, which is the what? Oh, this is the body. That's the body. That's right. Okay, so you this is where it goes in. You notice you have uh, mm -hmm. all the all the keys, and then you go to the very last key here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is so you're going to take this part that has these three keys here, or once we get to know the keys a little bit better, this is the E flat key. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to place it here to where the rod, and you're going to twist it in a little bit, is about in the center of the keys here. If you were to draw a line where the rod is, okay. it kind of goes through the center of these uh, keys here. Okay? Nice. Okay. And so the next step, it's actually pretty easy. You're gonna hold it here. You're gonna grab the head joint, okay? And you're gonna have to twist it in a little bit, and it shouldn't be too difficult. If it is, just let me know, like if you ever notice, because then that's like an instrument problem. Oh, okay. Um, and when you get it in, you want about like an inch of that kind of different colored part here. You want about an inch of it out. You don't want it all the way in. And then to know if you actually put, made the, put the head joint in right, the tone hole should line up with the keys if you were to draw a line from here to here. All right. Okay, and that's pretty important because uh, it's going to change if you can make a sound or not. Okay, so you want to make sure that you set that up. So in, in summary, you always start bottom up. Uh, you take the end joint. And you're going to put it in where the rod is about centered with the keys here, and that's the rod on the end joint. Okay, and never grab it by the rod, right? Yep. And then you're going to take the head joint put it in, twist it in, and try and get it to where the tone hole, which is this part here, is even with the keys here, okay? So I'm gonna take it apart, and then I'm gonna have you actually put it together. Cool. Okay. This in here, my knees just popped. <laughs> All right, so what's the first step we do? All right, we gotta grab it, or first we're gonna use the end joint. But mm -hmm. We gotta grab it uh, from the sides, preferably maybe. Uh, right. It's not anywhere but the, uh, the rod. Correct. Okay, so it's that right hand, so let's see. Yeah, let's do, mm, I guess like this. Okay. Okay, and the next thing? Uh, get the body. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so we want to connect it so where this rod will basically create a straight line with the keys. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, and then which side goes into which? We're going to connect it to this side. Right. Okay. And an easy way to remember that is that you have those three specific, they're very different looking keys. Okay. So that's how you know that one is the side that's going to connect. Okay, cool. So let's do that. Uh, how's that look? It's a little off center. So if you oh, could okay. twist it just a little bit more. Yeah, you see how it's now kind of going more through the center okay, of okay. the keys now? Yeah. Okay, good. Cool. All right, so last step. Oh, uh, we're going to get the, the head joint. Mm hmm Okay. Very good. Uh, let's grab Very that. Very good vocabulary. Yes. And this, we want uh, the tone hole to line up with all the keys, or the keys in the body. Right. All right. So let's do 
see that? Just give it a twist. Give it an inch of the non-colored portion. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. It seems to be about a line. Yeah. How does that look for you? That looks, that looks good. That looks really good. Cool. Great job. Okay. Do you have any questions about setting up the instrument? Um, no, I think it's pretty straightforward. Okay, great. So now what I want you to do is just very carefully take off the head joint. Okay. So let's do that. Yeah. Okay. And so we're going to start covering something else that doesn't require the instrument yet. Okay. So go ahead and put the head joint uh, in its spot, which is about right here. Okay. Yeah, and then you can leave the end joint and the body like connected. Okay. Uh, just you can just place it like on top of the case. Yeah. With the keys up. Great. Okay. So that was great. So the next thing we're gonna learn is uh, how to make the flute armature. So this is how you're gonna shape your face so okay. you can make a sound on the instrument. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your hand. Actually, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want you to say say poo. 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 Good. So notice when you say poo, your lips kind of come forward. Yeah. And your air, when you say the oo part, kind of gets directed a certain way. And when you do this, you're actually forming an ideal flute armature by saying the word okay. poo. So say it with me this time and really uh, kind of think about how your lips are being shaped when you do it. Ready? And poo. poo. Yeah. So when you do it, you kind of went poo. You kind of let your lips come down, like your bottom lip. Try and just let them come forward like they want to. Poo. Okay. Poo. There you go. That was much better. Okay. So now, I want you to do is I want you to take your hand, try and make it as flat as possible. Put it underneath your lip, your bottom lip. Okay. You can put it a little bit lower. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Let's see. Uh, your, so your hand's kind of angled down a little bit. Make oh. it, there you go. A little bit more flat. Yeah. And then you can also put it to where it's kind of on your pointer finger where your knuckle is, there you go. Yeah, that's what we're gonna need. Okay, now I want you to just say poo and blow air after you've, so let me let me uh, step back real quick. I want you to blow air, and when you blow air, I want you to make the syllable, syllable poo, so kind of like this. Like that, okay. okay? And one, two, ready with me? Yeah, let's do it again. Yes, so that's what you want to do when you start the air. You want to make that syllable shape, okay? okay? This time when you do it, I want you to aim the air, direct the air towards your middle finger, okay? Okay. Let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. Try and make the opening in your hole slightly smaller. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Okay, so when we do that, that is how you want to start. You can go ahead and put your hand down. That's how you uh, start the air to make sound on the instrument. With that syllable, poo, and then you just let the air flow from that syllable. Okay, cool, great. So let's take the head joint. Right. We're gonna make our first sounds. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so when we place the, the, um, the head joint onto our, uh, onto our face, what you wanna make sure is that it is parallel uh, to the ceiling. And your head is also nice and parallel like we've talked, I'm sorry, like it's floating evenly in between your shoulders like we've talked about before. Okay. Okay? So go ahead and with two hands, place the flute head joint beneath your bottom lip. So go ahead and do that. Okay. Great. So it's a little off center right now, so move it a little bit to your right. Yeah. So you're going to want the tone hole to be centered uh, in the middle of your lips, at least. Yes. Yes, that's what you're. That's what that's what you're gonna need to do, okay. And then uh, you're gonna want to feel about your lip covering a third of the tone hole. So about most of the tone hole should not be covered by your lips, oh. but about a third of it should be covered by your by your bottom lip, okay. Let's see. Yeah, it looks generally right. You're a little off angle. So. Yeah. Good. Okay. So when we Place the flute onto our bottom lip. Remember, you want about, you can go ahead and put it down. You want about two thirds of the tone hole uh, uncovered by your bottom lip, about a third of it covered by your bottom lip. And then you want it centered 
uh, in between centered on your lips and you want it parallel to the ceiling. Okay, let's do it again. Go ahead and place it. Great, and I love how your face looks natural right now. That's what we want. We just want our face to be natural. Don't change anything. Okay, we'll change it when we set the armature. All right. Okay, great. So now from here, I want you to do what we were starting before. I want you to initiate with a poo syllable and just blow air. Okay, so go for it whenever you're ready. Okay, start it with more air this time. Okay, so now when you say it, try and bring your lips forward a little bit. There's, they're kind of too flat and there's not enough air hitting the edge. Oh. So try again. Bring your lips a little bit more forward. That's better. That's much better. Hmm. Here, go ahead and let go. Just blow with the poo syllable. Okay, close. Uh, so the opening in your mouth is called the aperture. So mm -hmm. close your aperture a little bit more. It's a little too open. Oh, we almost had it. Okay, so go ahead and grab it again. I think that's what it was, it was your aperture. So um, make sure that a third of your lip is covering the tongue hole because I think I accidentally moved it to where it's not. So go ahead and take it off and now replace it. Okay, now think about, um, think about a smaller aperture, the smaller closing with your mouth and say poop. Ooh, that's very close, okay. Right. Try and bring your lips forward this time and keeping the smaller aperture. Right. Ooh, yes, that was that was much. That's it's getting closer every time. Um, try rotating the tone hole towards you a little bit. Okay, try it this time. And do it again. Yes, yes. So. Notice when I told you to rotate it in a little bit, that's because we have to find this thing called the sweet spot. Oh. So that's the one third general thing I was covering. But for you, it's wherever, whatever that feels like, you need to do that every time when placing the flute on your mouth. Right. Okay, so go ahead and take it off. And now try and replicate that exact same feeling. Okay. okay? And then whenever you're ready, start it with a poop. Okay, so this time, uh, it sounds as if something is blocking your air, so make sure that your tongue isn't moving and your lips aren't closing either. Just blow a steady, steady stream of air. Ooh, okay. Try again. Oh, okay. So now what it is is that the sweet spot isn't being maintained. So if you're not getting a sound immediately where you are before, try rotating it in slightly. Mm -hmm. um, if not, then it's probably the other way, okay? okay? So try that again. Oh, I think it's outward, I need to go. It's also not centered on your lips, so scooch it to the right a little bit. Uh, too much, a little bit to the left, there you go. Started with a poo. Yeah, so I can actually see it in your upper lip. Your air is wavering. Okay. Try and make it as steady as possible. Right. Oh. Maybe, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, let the lips. All right. So you kept a constant sound that time. That was great. Do it again. Yeah, so stop. Close your eyes. Don't move anything. And just memorize this feeling. That's, that's what you need to go for every time you place it. Okay, so make this sound one more time. Go ahead and open your eyes. Yes, that's great. Okay, so take it off one more time, and now try and find the sweet spot again. This will be the last time we do it. All right. All right. 
Yeah, man. Nice. Okay, one more time. Okay. Just make sure it wasn't an accident. <laughs> Great job, man. That's great. That's awesome. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, take this to the entire flute. All right. Okay, so here you go. And now which side is the head joint going to go into? We're going to go on this side. Great. So go ahead and grab that carefully. Okay. okay. And then go ahead and put the head joint in like I showed you before. Okay. Let me grab it in my right hand. Cool. That looks great. Awesome. Okay, so before we can make a sound on the flute, we have to go over how to hold the flute. All right. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate for you. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to make a C with your left hand. Okay, I'll just model for you real quick. What's going to happen is the thumb is going to go on this back key right here. Okay. We call this key the machete key. Machete key. The machete key, right? Okay, and then the way your finger's gonna work is it's going to be one on this one right here. It's right below this. It kind of looks like a key, but it actually isn't. Oh, okay. It's this one right here, and then you're gonna skip one, okay? And then middle finger is gonna go here. So notice one, skip one, and then the ring finger goes right next to it. Okay. Okay, and then the thumb goes right here on the machete key. Okay. <laughs> so we have machete, one, two, three. And if you notice right here, we have another key right here, and the pinky is just gonna lay right there. Okay. Okay. Um, but you're not actually gonna. You really don't press it that often, not yet anyway. And so you just kind of let it float above. All right. Now the right hand's a little different. So you're gonna make the. You're gonna like you're making the pledge of allegiance. You have your right hand up. Hup, and then you're gonna place your three fingers, pointer, middle, and ring, on the last three keys, towards the end here. Yeah. We have some keys over here. Um, but when the keys I'm talking about are just the ones on the body. Okay. Okay. So one, two, three here. And then you're just going to let your thumb go wherever it feels natural, as long as you can securely hold it. Okay. Awesome. And then the last part is the pinky is going to rest on the E flat key. What's this key called? E flat. E flat. It's just going to rest right there. Okay. All right. So notice, right, I have thumb on machete, one, skip one, two, three. And then the pointer becomes four, five, six. It's the last three keys on the body in the E flat. The pinky just rests on the E flat key right here. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna hand it to you. Try and rest it on your leg until it feels like you're kind of you got it steady. Okay. So go ahead. The left hand's gonna make a C. Oh yes, that's correct. Okay, left hand C. Left hand C. It's gonna rest on the machete key. Machete key right here. Correct. Great. And then it's gonna go. We're gonna go one. One. Skip. So two, three. Great. So pinky will rest on this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one, Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Bottom three of the body. So four, five, six. And uh, pinky is going to go on E flat. Mm-hmm. And then thumb, whatever feels comfy. Let's get that guy. Okay. Okay. Now go ahead and lift it up carefully. Great. And so notice how the main... The main parts where it's going to have, I guess, the mo it's resting on the most is your pointer finger on the knuckle right here is actually kind of what's going to support it a lot, and then your thumbs. Okay. And of course, your your mouth is going to help steady it too because it'll be pushing against it, but you got to make sure that um, if you were to take your thumb off, that the pointer finger can still support it. Oh. Okay. So, but that'll be, it'll help a lot when you have it actually resting against your face. Okay. So now what you want to do... Uh, we're going to angle our body slightly to the right a little bit. Good. Okay. And then you're going to bring it up to your, to your face, <laughs> to your lips. Right? Yep. And it's okay if you feel like you need to angle your head a certain way. As long as your face is parallel with the flute tone hole, it should be all good. Okay? Great. So that's, that's kind of how it feels. Okay. I just realized I totally skipped a step. Oh, that's my bad. Uh, but we learned how to hold the flute. Great. So we'll get back to that in a sec because cool. I actually wanted you to make sound first. Okay. So go ahead and uh, you can rest it on your on your leg. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab the the head joint uh, with your left hand. 
Just grab it like around here. Oh. And then you're just gonna hold the end of the flute and you're gonna bring it to your face. And we're gonna make a sound. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. So okay, so I noticed when you brought it to your face, you actually brought your face to the flute. Oh, oh. So make sure that your your head is set, you're in proper playing position, and then you just bring the instrument to your All face. Right. Great. So try and find the sweet spot. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and poo and try and make a sound. Oh, that's close. Um, try, try and uh, bring your lips forward a little bit, and let me I'm gonna rotate this slightly right there. Now try and bring your lips forward just a little bit when you say poop. Okay, so it's actually not getting enough air quite yet. Try again. Oh, it's close. It's getting there. Mm. Try and uh, take it off and reset it again. Try and find that sweet spot. Try and start it with a, a more clear poo. Oh, um, I don't know what you just did, but try and do that more because you started getting a sound out of it. Oh, I think I need to turn it yeah, inward. Yeah, I think, I think you need to turn it inward too. I was about to say that. Ooh. That was a little too much. Try a little bit slower air. Yeah, it's getting there. I think what it might be is there's not air, there's not enough air trying to get through your aperture. So I know I said to make it smaller. Try and make the aperture slightly bigger, so the opening in your mouth. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Right, so, so air couldn't get to it because your aperture was so close. So just try and whenever you do it, now try and make the aperture just slightly bigger. Okay, uh, do it again. Great, so you got sound a little bit afterwards. Try and get it at the beginning um, by keeping the aperture slightly more open and the air just steady in the beginning. And also, I'm sorry, saying poop. Poop. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, there it was. Yeah, so um, I I noticed like uh, that you started getting the air after uh, you brought your lips forward a little bit. So try and bring your lips forward again this time, like right in the beginning. Right, but you actually you got to start with a poo. You're kind of just going. There's no actual p kind of like syllable happening. So try that this time. So I think the I think the aperture is still too small again. Oh. So try and make it a little bit bigger and try and bring your lips forward. Yeah, that was better. That was better. Yes, that's the general idea. I think I think what it is is um, I'm I'm hearing air happen before your like it's like kind of oh, like that. Okay. Try and make it. Uh, the air and the poo simultaneous. So, try it. So you're covering too much of the tone. Just a little bit. Okay, try again. Hey, you got the octave. That's cool. Okay, try again. <laughs> Yes. 
Okay, so try and make the aperture slightly bigger. The reason why you're hitting the octave is because your aperture is so small. Yeah, so I think what it is, whenever you can't get a sound, is because your aperture is too closed. Okay. So if you just open it up a little bit, it'll help a lot. And with that, it's 25 minutes, 25 seconds. Thank you so much, Oscar. Awesome. I appreciate it. That's it.